What's going on, you guys? Yeah, yeah. Got a haircut. Okay, so we have a question from one of my viewers today, so I'm gonna read it here. It's basically, hey Lloyd, big fan of your channel. I had a question because I always seem to be the one chasing girls. I have to work really hard for seemingly little reciprocation. I can sometimes find a girl I like, but I'm tired of always being the one to chase. How do I get women to chase me? Okay, so uh, this is a pretty common question that I get from a lot of guys. Um, something that a lot of my clients, I work with a lot of clients to be able to create this kind of lifestyle where you have the woman come to you and you're, you, know, you don't have to chase all of them around. Uh, a lot of people say that, you know, the a guy who's good with women will be able to pursue her and then win her over. But, um, you know, a guy who's great will be able to pick the one he wants um, from a variety of them. Okay, so the way you become the guy who's picking rather than the guy who's uh, pursuing is you basically have to have a really, really high mate value. Okay, um, in given situations, so the way some guys can get it is if they're really, really good looking um, or maybe they have really good social skills like game um, or whatever. And the difference is between the woman who's chasing you and you is high enough that she's willing to, to, to go after you basically. Okay, most guys, even if they're really good looking or they have a tremendous amount of like game, so to speak, um, they're not usually pursued by the women that they're interested in. So they need a little bit of an extra boost. Okay, so the way I would kind of word about this is basically, you know, I've spent four years of my life um, kind of pursuing, chasing after women. And there's a difference, by the way, you guys, between chasing and showing interest. You know, as a man, you have to show interest and I would pursue and initiate and take things forward that way. That's kind of leading the interaction. It's part of being a man. Uh, but don't chase. Chasing is kind of where you drop everything to try and be with somebody. Chasing usually doesn't work. Um, and if you find yourself doing that, you're probably not that successful. Okay. But how do you get the women to chase you? So I'm going to get into that right now. Um, so for the first four years, I was running around, you know, pursuing women left, right, and center. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, yeah. Going out a lot, um, probably slept with a couple hundred women during this period of time, which was pretty cool for me at, you know, at that age. Um, but looking back on it and, you know, you know, at the time when I did it, um, I really still didn't feel that desire. Uh, it definitely was, it wasn't as fulfilling as I thought it would be. I mean, it was fun. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. It was a good time in certain cases, some crazy stories. Um, but I, at, I, like I said, I didn't really feel like a very desired man. And it's because I was running. At, I would see a girl that I liked and I would go after her. See a girl that I liked and go after her. Um, and so every time that I dated a woman, that's kind of how it would go down. For me to date a girl that I really liked, I, I would have to pursue pretty hard. Um, but what I noticed was that towards the end, when I started becoming better with my social skills and built up a, you know, more of a circle, there was women that would come to me occasionally. Um, and I found that to be a lot more enjoyable. Like I liked the women a lot better. Um, and once that started to happen, they kind of saw me at a party or something like that. I realized that, you know, you, you, I needed to change kind of my approach. And so what I see a lot of guys doing is if they're having some moderate success and they want to, to get this where women are, are chasing them, you really got to change your approach rather than just like talking to this girl, trying to get her to like you, trying to get her to like you. You have to set up your life in a way where um, you're doing things or you're having things that women want. I mean, the perfect example of this is Dan Bilzerian. I mean, say what you will about the guy, the dude hasn't had to hit on a woman in about a decade, okay? And you might not like the girls that he likes. I mean, obviously they're super attractive, super hot. Maybe personality ways you might not like them, but um, you know, he's into them and he set up his life so those kinds of girls come to him. You know, he's, uh, you know, you, the money helps, but I would say at least 90% of it is his fame, is the fact that he's like an authoritative figure in social media, um, in those kinds of parties. And, you know, he's surrounded by women that are of the kind of women that he's trying to get with. And so women see him surrounded by those women that makes him more desirable. So basically he's set up his life where he doesn't have to really have a conversation with a woman anymore to have sex with her. Like he really doesn't. So that they already desire him when they're coming. They already know about him. They, they, all that stuff is taken care of. So obviously most guys can't do this. Okay. And the truth is most guys 
are going to have difficulty creating this kind of lifestyle. Like it does take work. It does take time to be able to create that kind of environment. I mean, you can organize events. Um, you can put yourself in a position of authority with something like, you know, um, like if you're giving talks or something like that, um, you can organize dinners, you can do um, maybe be the captain of like a sports team. Like those are all the kinds of little mini uh, groups that you can be kind of an authoritative figure in where women will pursue you, they will chase you. Okay, so what you gotta think about is you have to think about what kinds of women do I want to chase me? How do I have something that they want and be kind of an authoritative figure in it? Okay, that makes you really, really desirable and most guys who are in those positions you know, they do get a lot of women who are pursuing them. Okay, so ask yourself those questions and you're going, to, it's going to take work uh, to create this kind of lifestyle for yourself where you're regularly meeting the kinds of women that you want. They're kind of coming to you and you don't have to, um, you, you're not having to chase after them uh, like this guy's worried about doing. So that's something that I work pretty in depth with with a lot of my clients because you know, every person is different, every person has different interests, um, and every person has a different lifestyle that they can work with. And so really, I can't give you specific advice depending on your situation, but what I can tell you is to think about those questions. You know, what, what kind of woman am I looking for? Um, how can I have something that she's interested in? Um, how can I organize something around that where she'll be there and then she can see me being an authoritative position in, okay? The details of it are different, like I said, for every single person, but those are the kinds of places and things that you wanna start thinking about. Um, and ultimately, it does take time, but if you can craft a lifestyle like that, it, you know, it, guys in my program it doesn't take that long for them as long as they have like some sort of direction or me helping them out. Um, but yeah, you can definitely do this at home, but don't expect it to just happen like that, like some mindset hack. <laughs> and now women are chasing me. Um, usually that it doesn't really work like that. Okay. If it was super easy, everybody be doing it. Okay, so uh, hopefully this helps you guys. Um, I don't have time to get, go into everything about this. I mean, I could talk about this for like, you know, hours. Um, but I think that could give you a pretty good start from now. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, if you do want to get coached by me, there's a form down in the description box below. Click on the link, fill out the form, and if you seem like a good fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck. <laughs>